plastic pollution is no longer just an ocean problem. Now scientists are finding microplastics in the human brain and even inside bones. They could be weakening bones, affecting memory, and threatening our health in ways we are only just beginning to understand. Watch our next report to see what you can do to protect yourself. The harms of plastic pollution are well known. But it's not just poly bags, cans and bottles. Plastic pollution is deeper than what you see. It is spread to places you can't even imagine. Oceans, rivers, seafood, packaged drinks and even the human body. Yes, plastics have entered the human body. Studies show they can reach deep into bones and the brain and they are linked to serious health issues like dementia. But how does plastic get there? It's actually microplastics. Extremely small pieces of plastic debris, they are now almost everywhere because plastics break down into tiny particles through daily use, disposal and environmental wear and tear. Their presence in the human body is alarming. A new study in Osteoporosis International shows microplastics penetrating bone marrow. Scientists fear it may be harming human health on a large scale. The study reviewed 62 scientific articles. It confirmed microplastics can infiltrate blood, brain, placenta, breast milk and bone tissue, including bone marrow. So what can microplastics do to bones? They can cause osteoporosis, a disease that makes bones fragile. They can increase fracture risks, they can damage cells and trigger inflammation, speeding up aging. And it's not just bones. A recent study in Nature Medicine 2025 found microplastics in human brains. Brain samples from dementia patients had up to 10 times more microplastics than healthy brains. Some brains had 30 times more microplastics than liver or kidney tissue. So is this preventable? In the state of the current environment, exposure to microplastics cannot be completely eliminated. But experts say one can reduce risks. Some of the practical steps include cutting back single-use plastics and using glass or steel, avoiding heating food in plastic containers, eating fresh food, and limit packaged or processed items filtering tap water wherever possible, avoid smoking and maintain bone health with calcium, vitamin D and regular exercise. Microplastics are no longer just an environmental crisis. They're inside us, our bones and our brains. The risks are growing and the clock is ticking. The sooner we act, the safer our future will be. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English, French, German, Hindi, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish. Go to settings, click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post.